Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Today, we've got a brand new story to share with you. So let's begin. I have been married for 13 years to my wife. We met in college and have been together ever since 16 years total. About 8 years ago, I discovered her having an affair with a coworker. She was having an emotional affair and nothing had happened. We have two children, 10 and 11, which are my world. The issue I am having is that I do not trust her in the slightest and am extremely tired of it. As they say, my bucket has filled up and I'm sick of wondering what is true and what is not. Here is some background on the situation. I am going to be as transparent as I can be without giving up too much information. I am by no means a perfect person and am willing to admit my faults here, so just bear with me. So, we met in college and fell in love. It was within the first month or so that I knew I was going to marry my wife. We fell head over heels in love and were off to the races. We graduated college and bought our first house together. Shortly thereafter, we found out we were expecting and then got hitched as well. While in college, I developed one hell of a drug-slash-alcohol problem that I dealt with for a solid six years. When our first child was born, I was high in the delivery room. When our second was born, it was much the same. I destroyed her trust by following this path of self-destruction. It was not until a year after our second child was born that I finally got clean. This put a significant strain on our marriage and again, I see my fault here. While being sober for only three months, I found out my wife was having an affair with her coworker. This dude is significantly older by over 12 years. I confronted my wife and we talked it through. We wanted to fight to make this work. She claimed that my addiction drove her away and that she wanted to be with me, yes, I know how cheaters work now. So, we went on a path to work on us. Cut to about six months later and she is still talking to this dude. I flip out and we begin to fight. I threaten to leave and she promises me the world. I foolishly believe her yet again. She swears nothing happened other than them talking. If you are unable to hear my sarcasm, I will search for the sarcasm button to add in later. So, we attend counseling and work on ourselves. I honestly hated counseling because I was always the bad guy. It was all my fault that she cheated, but we are unable to figure out why she keeps talking to him. This behavior will continue for the next few years. It broke my trust in her, and at that time, I began to bide my time. I'm sure someone is going to say, oh well, why didn't you just divorce her? That is a great point. I'm not sure how to put this, but she is highly emotional and is a slave to her emotions. If she gets angry, she is going to let you know it. If she feels offended, be ready to hear about it. I joke that she is a Karen, but it's not really a joke. She loses her mind pretty quickly. As the years have gone by, she has gotten better at it and matured, but she is still quick to fly off the handle. Now, add in two young, impressionable kids, and I do not know if she would have the children's best interests at heart. Honestly, I was scared the first time I truly thought about divorce. I wasn't worried about child support, alimony, or anything like that. I was worried about what would happen to my children. So, as cliche as it sounds I stayed for them. Plus, we were so broke and in debt that we would have just been splitting debt rather than assets. So, that is the reason that I have stayed. Plus, add in just being sober for a bit and being fragile in general in the beginning and that is why. So, in 2019, she decided she wanted to go back to school to get her degree and get a better job. She went to school for a year part-time and got her degree while working full-time. I became the housekeeper and caretaker of our children. She was just so busy that when she was not working she was going to school. It was a year of hell for me while working full-time and taking care of literally everything at home. She finally graduates and gets a job making really good money. It is at this time that I discover her talking to the AP yet again. Something broke in me when this happened. This was the umpteenth time and I told her I was done. It was over. She finally swore to end it. I told all of her and my family and let them know what she was doing. She was pissed but whatever. At this time our children were still young and it scared me to death to have to split custody with her. My kids are my life. They are legitimately the only reason I am still alive. So, I left and spent a few days away. When I came home after three days away, I came home to a very sad house. My kids were just sad and melancholy. It was a very bad few days for them. Apparently, my wife was yelling and angry all the time. So, like a fool I stayed. Then, the housing craze went off and I talked my wife into selling our house so we could make a bundle and clear our debts. 
She agreed, and we finally had a chunk of change in the bank. We found a house, rented it, and have been here ever since the end of 2020. I will say that relocating and changing jobs have helped immensely. It was like a fresh start. Then, I lost my pretty decent paying sales job and hit a wall of depression. It was a rough few months, but she supported me. It was weird, almost like having the spouse I originally married. My initial plan was to split the money, split custody, and go our separate ways. But I was interested in seeing where this was going. We were like a new couple again, with the past behind us and starting anew. I'm even completing my degree from forever ago and already have a job lined up. Does anyone else see where this is going? Well, congratulations if you do. Just last week, I was on her computer and she had her Facebook tab open. Of course I clicked on the tab and wouldn't you know it? She had looked this dude up on Facebook and was friends with him. Imagine my shock. So, I confront her again. She swears she has no clue how she is friends with him. She admits to looking him up on Facebook but only because she saw he posted an article. Like, how would you see an article if you weren't friends with him? She started giving explanations and I just said, oh why bother? It did not seem to matter to me anymore. And of course, all the old feelings of hate, resentment, betrayal, etc. all came back to the surface. There may have been a reprieve, but here we are back to what I absolutely hate. She still swears that nothing physical ever happened between them and that it was only emotional. I do not believe her in the slightest, but I do not have any proof. We seemed like we were in a good place together, but now I question everything yet again. So, in the effort to find some information on this and prove it without a shadow of a doubt, how does one go about this? I have really toyed with the idea of a polygraph, forcing her to go through with it. Years ago, right before we sold the house, I was going to make her take one. But part of me did not want to know the truth, and another wanted to just fix our relationship and move on. Now, if I am going to stick this out for the kids, I want to know. Does anyone have any suggestions on how to prove or disprove her claims? As I write this dissertation, I figure I am going to catch flack for not just bouncing after the first or fifth time I found her talking to him. All the times I found them talking, there was never anything about their meetings or physical talk. They said they wanted to, but there was never any concrete evidence that they did. It would be awesome to be able to have that evidence in the form of a polygraph test, so then I could show my kids when they got older. I would be devastated to have to share custody, but I am more fearful of how my wife would weaponize the children. Any help at all would be wonderful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more stories like this. See you next time.